Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be working on watermelon chair socks, and we're going to start that in just a moment. Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be working on watermelon chair socks. You are going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and all kinds of scrap yarn. So you're going to need hot pink for the body of the watermelon. You're going to need white for that in between like the watermelon meat and the, the well it's part of the rind you're gonna need green for the skin and then black for the dots on the watermelon for the seeds you're also gonna need a darning needle and a measuring tape okay so let's get started we're gonna start with the pink so I'll get all these other things out of my way. Whoops. <clears throat> okay. We're going to start with the pink. Ooh. Ooh. We got, we got yarn vomit. I have to find the end. Ha, ah, there's the end. Okay. We're going to start by crossing our yarn. Okay. We're going to leave a bit of the tail. Cross your yarn. And then we're gonna chain two. One, two. Okay, so there's our two chains. Now we're gonna go into that very first chain and we're gonna flip that tail over the hook and we're gonna do a single crochet into that chain. We're gonna do six single crochets. So that's one, you go into the hole, pull through, yarn over, go through your two loops. That's two, three, <clears throat> four, whoops, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to slip stitch into that first stitch, <clears throat> and we're going to chain up one. Oh my goodness, I have a frog in my throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, so now we're going to put two stitches in each stitch around. One, two, we're going to end up with 12. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, I have a knot coming up in my yarn, so I'm just going to take that knot out. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> Now we're gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. So we have 12 stitches. We're gonna chain up one. Now, if we did our tail properly, when we give our tail a tug, it's gonna cinch up that hole there. And it did for me. If it didn't, don't freak out. You can just use the tail to stitch up that hole if you find it's too much of a gape. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to do um, another round. So you're going to do two stitches in the first one, one, two, and you're going to do one in that next one. So we're doing multiples of three, okay? So we're going to end up with 18 stitches, which is a multiple of three. So we got three. So in our next stitch, where we know we're starting another section. We're going to put two stitches in that first stitch, one, two, and one on its own to get to our three. So we're at six stitches now. So you can count in threes or like just one, two, three, one, two, three, or you can just count along. So we're at six, 
seven and eight go in the same stitch nine goes on its own ten and eleven this is how i do it and twelve goes on its own 13 and 14 go together. 15 goes on its own. 16 and 17 go together. 18 goes on its own. We're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. We're going to chain up one. Now, this is as wide as we want I want this chair sock. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. This is my regular size chair sock, okay? If you decide that you need a wider or a skinnier, you can either just stop at 12 stitches, you can go to 24 stitches. You're always adding six stitches to each round. So you start by two in each stitch, then you do two and one, which is three, and then you, for the Next round, if you wanted to go bigger, it would be two in the first and then one single and another single. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, this is where I stop. This is the, the biggest I want. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little ridge so that it sits flat, okay? And then we'll start our climbing. So, we are going to go into only the back loop. So, you see here, we're just going into that back loop. And we're doing a singles crochet. We want 18 or all the way around. We are not increasing at all. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, <clears throat> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen and 18 okay so <clears throat> see i've got a little ridge so this will be climbing up and then we've got our ridge and this is our bottom okay so now instead of doing a slip stitch here we're not doing a slip stitch what we are doing is we're just going to do another single crochet into that first stitch and we're just going to start spiraling now okay so you're just single crocheting around. And what I want you to do is get your measuring tape, <clears throat> which of course, okay, I'll be right back. I have to get my measuring tape. Sorry about that. Okay, so you get your measuring tape and from the ridge, <clears throat> I want you to crochet from the ridge up until you have it measuring one and a half inches, okay? One and a half inches, you see that? So from the ridge, the ridge line we just created, I want you to keep spiraling until you're at one and a half inches all the way around, <clears throat> okay? Do that, meet me back. Okay, so I have done my one and a half inches. Okay, so there's my ridge. See it right there? And there we go. So one and a half inches. Okay, and you wanna make sure that measures on both sides. Okay, so see, again, one and a half inches. And I'm going just to underneath those stitches and I'm going to the ridge that we created. Okay, so now, <clears throat> I want you to leave a bit of a tail. Okay. And then I want you to slip stitch into that next stitch and 
pull the yarn through, your tail through, and pull tight, okay? Now you're going to take your white, which, <clears throat> whoops, sorry guys, oh my goodness. Ha! <laughs> sorry about that. My white rolled away. Okay, so we're going to take our white, and where we just made that knot, we're going to go back into that stitch. Pull your white yarn through, chain up one, and we're going to do one round of single crochet. You should end up with 18 stitches. That chain one does not count as a stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, just tuck that tail in there, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now grab your green. <clears throat> Again, mine took off on me. So I just have to grab it. Here we go. That's a pretty green. I think it's called jeweled green. I don't know. All these are just scraps. And that's the great thing about chair socks is you can make scraps. So now we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. But we're using our green to slip stitch with. Okay. So you use your green. Pull through. Tighten that white. Chain up one. Now leave the tail on your white. Cut it. Those are the, like the worst scissors ever. I don't know where I found them. Actually, I do. I think I found them in the laundry room. Okay. Whoops, I'm still zoomed in. Let me zoom out. Whoops, too far. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, so I hope you saw that. I'm going to do that just again in case I was off camera. So you've got this and you're slip stitching with your green. So you go into that first stitch. Take your green, pull through, and then you're going to chain one and tighten that white. There you go. And now we're going to do, again, spiraling with the green, and we're going to do two rounds of it, I think. Let me see. We want it to measure two inches. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, so do two rounds with the green. Even if you go a bit over two inches, that's okay. It all depends on your tension, right? <clears throat> so then when you get to where you would slip stitch, if you were just working the round, instead you're just going to keep going with your spiral, right? I'll show you what I mean. So that was our slip stitch right there. So we're just going to go to that next stitch and keep our spiral going just with single crochets. So keep going around, you'll have two rows. So you see we've got one, two here, but only one here. So keep going until you have two rows. You'll come back to this area. Okay, do that, meet me back. Okay, I've gone all the way around. I'm going to use my awful scissors to cut. 
I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch, pull through, and then pull my loop through. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Now we're going to turn it inside out. We're going to hide our threads. So <clears throat> this pink one is the one I'm going to start with because it's the main color. And here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go, I'm just catching this side of the stitches. I'm not going all the way through, just this side of the stitches. And I stick my finger so I make sure I'm not going through the front. I'm going to bring it all the way to that center. Okay. And then once I'm here, and tie a knot <clears throat> and be careful that you don't distort your stitches but I'm gonna tie a knot and then I'm just gonna cut it close but not too close you don't want it to unravel okay so the pinks are done the whites I'm gonna tie together because the reason I'm doing a lot of knots, which I don't normally do in my crocheting, is because this isn't going to be worn by anyone or anything. So it's okay to have a few knots. I mean, you know, it's not like when I, our kids are going to wear it or anything like that. So again, cut close, but not too close. You don't want it to come undone. And then... For the green, I am going to bring it down to the other green. Okay. And I'm going to give it a little knot as well. Okay. And then cut close, but not too close. Horrible scissors. Okay. Now, this is what we've got. Okay. This is what we've got. So now we need our block. And again, this is all made with scraps. So if you have a lot of chair socks you want to make, you're going to want all the same color scraps, but yeah. So I'm going to cut a length, I don't know, about two, a foot and a half of black. I'm going to put it on my needle. Okay. And then I'm going to go into, in from the center. I'm going to pull it through, leave a bit of a tail. I'm holding it with my finger in there so that my tail doesn't pull through. I'm just going to start putting little seeds. Now remember, watermelon seeds are usually kind of long. So I'm doing them like on the diagonal and I'm going just up and down my stitching, just any old place. See, to get some nice little seed looking like things and the seeds are not perfect and that's okay. Right, and we're just going to do this all the way around. Oops, that was a big seed, but whatever. There we go. Oops, my garbage. Okay, so I'm just, see how I'm kind of going diagonally? Diagonally up. And then diagonally down. And then 
then I'm just going into, whoops, into the center and I'm going to turn it inside in. Pull those tight. I'm going to catch one of these so I can get back up. Just kind of make a little whatever. The inside is not gorgeous, but that's okay. I'm going to get over here. I'm going to tie a knot. Not too tight of a knot because you don't want to distort your stitches. If you're unsure, you can put a third knot. And then cut. And cut. Turn it inside in. And there you go, guys. That is your watermelon chair sock. Isn't it adorable? I just love it. Well, thanks so much for watching. I'm putting a new thing in my description. I have designed a crochet journal. So I'll put a link for that in the description. And um, look for the pattern for this chair sock. It'll be coming soon. I try and do them when I can, but I don't get them done very quickly. It's just something new I've started. So yeah, watermelon chair sock. Who would have thunk? I got inspired the other day because I saw someone had made a watermelon earring. Well, actually, I had made a watermelon earring, so that's another tutorial. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye now.